after the bloody right September, my total return has been fully recovered in October and even increased to over 10%. That means in one month, my total return has increased nearly 6%. Hello and welcome to my channel. I plan to record my journey towards fire, financial independence, and retire early in this channel. Currently, I mainly focus on sharing my Canadian dividend stock investment journey and those stocks in my portfolio. This is the way that let money works for you and generate more money. In the future, I will also add contents introducing products that saves you money. So if you are interested in these topics, hit the like button to let me know. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to get the latest update. And now, Let's get started. Today is November 9th, exactly 9 months after I started investing in Canadian dividend stocks at February 9th this year. And in today's video, I would like to share with you my portfolio's performance after 9 months investing in Canadian dividend stocks. My total cash deposition in my TFSA account is $27,085. And I have reached a total return of 10.63% meaning that I have totally gained over $2,080, around $400 at dividend income. And my money hourly salary has increased to $1.38. This means at every working hour, I don't need to do anything, and my portfolio will earn $1.38 for me. And if we look at the portfolio performance, we can find that the top three stocks in my portfolio are first WSP, which has increased over 30% since I invested in it. And the second one is TFII, and it has been increased over 25% since I invested in it. And the third one is Sanker SU, it has been increased nearly 20% since I invested in this stock. And if we look at the sector breakdown, my top three sectors are ETF, which takes up over 35% of my entire portfolio. The second one is real estate, and it takes up around 20%. And the third one is financial services, and it takes up 15% of my entire portfolio. And these three sectors takes up around 70% of my entire portfolio. For the rest 30%, it has been contributed by communication services, utilities, industrials, consumer defensives, healthcare, and energy oil and gas ministry. Next, let's go into my Wealth Simple Trade TFSA account and see how each of the stocks in my portfolio has been performed after 9 months. Now we are inside my TFSA account. We can see during the last month, my portfolio has increased around 6%, which is around $1,700 in one month. And for my total return, after 9 months, my total return has reached around 11%, that is around 2900 up. And before I go through each of the individual stock's performance in my portfolio, I just want to let you know if you are interested in any of the stocks shown here, feel free to check out their introduction videos in my channel, and I hope those videos will be helpful when you are making your own decision to buy these stocks or not. And now, let's get started. The first stock I hold in my portfolio is AQN, Algonquin Power and Utilities. I totally hold 50 shares of it, and after 9 months, my all-time return is around 10% down. I lose around $100 on this stock. The second stock is ARE. I hold 6 shares of it and my all-time return so far has been around 7% down, losing around $7. I hold 31 shares of ATD.D, and after 9 months, it has been around 14% up. I gained over $180 from this stock. I hold 7 shares of BMO, Bank of Montreal, and it has been around 15% up, gaining me over $120. I hold 8 shares of BNS, Bank of Nova Scotia, and after 9 months, it has been around 7% up, gaining me over $40. I hold 10 shares of CM, CIBC, and after 9 months, it has been increased over 7%, gaining me over $100.
I hold nine shares of CP, Canadian Pacific Railway, and it has been around 11% up, gaining me over $80. I hold 30 shares of DOC. It has been down over 30% so far, let me lose over $25. I hold 7 shares of ENB, and it has been over 40% up, gaining me around $45. I hold 2 shares of FN, it has been increased around 0.4%, gaining me around $0.4. I hold 12 shares of FTS, it has been increased over 3%, gaining me over $20. I hold 20 shares of GDNP. It has been decreased around 25%, losing me around $6. I hold 42 shares of GRN. It has been down around 30%, losing me around $25. I hold 6 shares of HCLN. It has been down over 10%, losing me around $12. I hold 100 shares of HR.UN. It has been up over 8%, gaining me around $130. I hold 15 shares of MFC. It has been down around 4%, losing me around $14. I hold 10 shares of MRU. It has been increased over 10%, gaining me over $60. I hold 19 shares of NWC. It has been increased over 3%, gaining me over $20. I hold 65 shares of NWH.UN. It has been increased over 5%, gaining me over $40. I hold 23 shares of QQC. It has been increased around 6%, gaining me over $40. I hold 6 shares of QQC.F. It has been increased over 17%, gaining me around $120. I hold 74 shares of REI.UN. It has been increased over 7%, gaining me over $100. I hold 45 shares of SR.UN. It has been increased around 13%, gaining me over $160. I hold 16 shares of SU. It has been increased around 20%, gaining me over $80. I hold 40 shares of TELUS. It has been increased around 9%, gaining me over $90. I hold 11 shares of TCL.A. It has been decreased around 10%. Let me lose around $20. I hold 10 shares of TD. It has been increased over 9%, gaining me around $80. I hold 2 shares of TFII. It has been increased over 25%, gaining me around $60. I hold 70 shares of VFV. It has been increased around 10%, gaining me over $600. I hold 51 shares of VGRO. It has been increased around 6%, gaining me around $90. I hold 6 shares of WSP, and it has been increased over 30%, gaining me around $240. This is how my TFSA portfolio performed in the past October. If you remember, I think we all experienced the right September. During that time, we may lose a lot. However, as long as we are investing in good stocks and we are patient and believe in them, eventually we will recover from the red losses. And here you can see in October, I not only fully recovered from what I lost in September, but the value of my portfolio has even increased. And this summarized my portfolio's performance in October. After 9 months of investing in Canadian dividend stocks, my all-time return has been reached over 10%. This is pretty rewarding for me, who has just been involved in the investment world for less than one year. In the future, I will keep update my portfolio's monthly performance in my channel. And if you like this series, click the like button to let me know. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. If you are looking for a zero commission fee investing platform, I recommend you Trade. If you are looking for instant money transfer between friends, then Cash will be the right platform for you. Need a high interest, no fee saving account? Have a look at EQ Bank. It offers higher interest than any of the big file banks and has no banking fee. Additionally, if you are looking for great credit cards, 
I recommend FrameWorld Allied MasterCard and Neo Card. I personally use them and enjoy the cashbacks they have to offer. More details about these cards can be found in my channel. And if you use my referral links in the description, you will get referral bonus for having these great products. Thanks again for watching my video, and I'll see you in my next video.